Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from a patron, Martin Christiansen. And Martin, I'd like to say thank you for being a patron of this channel and helping uh, keep the lights on and all the things that we need to do here. And uh, he has sent his message to me through the Patreon messaging network, comes right into my inbox. And I'm very grateful to hear from patrons. Now, this patron is Oscar Zulu One, India Kilo Uniform. Okay, so overseas. And he sends this mes message, Dave, thank you so much for all you do for our hobby. When I go portable, I want to operate using a vertical NFED half wave for 40 meters, like I successfully do on 20 meters. And now 20 meters, if you're going to do an NFED vertical half wave, the thing needs to be 33 feet tall or 10 meters. If you are going to do it on 40 meters, you need a 20 meter or 66 foot antenna going straight up. That is twice as tall as the other one. Now, he likes the vertical antennas because of the low um, radiation angle. They're great. And partly because the NFED half wave does not need any radials, which is true of all half wave vertical antennas. However, my spider beam glass fiber mast which I guess he uses for portable, is only 12 meters high. Okay, that is about 70, no, 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 about 35 feet high. So I can, so now here's his question. So can I just add a sufficiently large loading coil at the bottom, maybe wound on the outside of the lowermost section of the fiberglass uh, mast, then treat the whole thing as a full-size NFED half-wave antenna, still using the usual 1 to 49 transformer? The short answer is probably not. Okay. Um, if you have a half-wave antenna and you want to end feed it from the ground, it's got to be the full length. If you're going to put loading into it to shorten it, it should go in the middle of the antenna, okay, because uh, that way you've got two equal di um, halves of the dipole working against each other, okay. If you, you could put that down lower, but then you've got the equivalent of trying to end feed an off-center fed dipole, and that could be entertaining. So I would suggest you go ahead and try it with the 49 to 1 ballon at the bottom. Add your loading coil in the middle. It won't take much, by the way. It won't take much. A few turns around that mast, pull together, you know, so that they're uh, nice and level, not just jumbled around each other, but nice and uh, linear. And then you can put it up there. You'll have to experiment with the number of turns to get that to run correctly. Now, I will point out that the this makes a compromise antenna, and the compromise here is bandwidth of the antenna. Your radiation pattern will be about the same. Uh, your amount of energy radiated will be about the same, but the bandwidth will be a little bit narrower. Okay, so go ahead and try it. But I would recommend putting that extra loading in the center of the uh, dipole. So go up, put your coils, then keep going up, and then, then feed it at the bottom. I think that will work for you. So uh, there you go. And um, will the radiation pattern stay the same this way uh, in spite of the, the shortening and loading? Actually, yes. Is this a stupid idea? No, not at all. So thank you, Martin, for uh, sending this in, and thank you for being a patron of this channel.
you too can help support this channel by going to decastlercom support and picking a way that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.